Hey, it's me again. I don't know, George's loquat tree video inspired me to get out here and make some videos in this 13 Celsius weather that is beautiful now that the sun came out. Many of you all know that this is my favorite, favorite plum tree. Well, actually one of my top three favorite plum trees in the garden. If you don't have this planted, I would look for it. It's called the Green Gauge. But in the last few years, it hasn't been um, fruiting. Maybe we get maybe 20 fruit, and this year it is totally covered with fruit. And I got so inspired that I'm going to show you something that I inspired my farmer to do, Farmer George. This tree is beautiful, but the fruit that it produces, mm, you want to share it with all of your friends. Okay, I'm back in the banana circle. Again, inspired to make another video. This is where it all started when George comes to me with this idea about the banana circle. And then everything just started to, well, spiral after that. Today, I'm going to show you a surprise, something that I kept trying to nudge George to do for a couple years now. And he did do some of it in the back. Some of you know he planted a, another plum tree to help pollinate that green gauge, which is my favorite plum. Um, and yesterday we went to shopping a shopping and I was so excited that George had found two plum trees that will help pollinate the green gauge and another one of my favorite yellow plums the cos and um, you all know that George has this thing for tropical trees but for me all the fruit is as good as tropical fruit, especially the green gauge and the cos. So yesterday, yes, we hit the jackpot. We found, we found two dwarfs, the Robe de Sargent, and we found the other one. And I know some of you that watch George's channel are, are going to know what he's going to do with these so we get more costs and green gauge i'm so excited i'm doing the happy green gauge cost plum happy dance hopefully this year and next year we're going to get more of these babies okay i'm heading out to yes you guessed it I'm heading out to the front garden and I'm heading on over to the location of where the other green gauge is planted. And how many green gauge do you think are this year on this tree? Oh, I've only seen a few. Why do you think this had less? It wasn't pollinated wasn't pollinated. Oh, bravo. Bravo. And guess what we have in the back? I, I know I showed you the secret. I don't know, but um, I think next year that this thing is going to be loaded because I have, a feeling. I have this feeling. I have a feeling that it's going to be loaded with green gauge in the front and the back. Although they say this uh, comes every two years I think the tree I'm not as knowledgeable as George but this also was a favorite tree and I was crying because he said he wanted to take it out but he is going to put it in a pot for me and see if we can have it come back he was as you've seen in some of his videos he was crazy about the leaf curl on it so um, here are the locations for those two dwarf trees so it'll help to to uh, go ahead and to 
I forgot the word, George. Pollinate. <laughs> I need your help. <laughs> Blondie, he said. Um, so anyway, those two dwarfs that I just showed you, it was a secret, but I unveiled the secret on Funtopia, um, are going to be going here, and hopefully he'll save my favorite, favorite uh, donut peach. Um, maybe some of you out there can give him some tips on this crazy leaf curl that he doesn't like dealing with. Uh, this tree here is the cost. Hopefully next year this is going to be filled with those beautiful yellow plums because of the pollination. We'll see what happens. I'm a little bit sad to say this is another one of my favorite peach trees that he's going to take out. But knowing that um, we're going to get a lot of green gauge and costs, and he's going to put these in pots and try and save them. Hey, smell this wompy cutting. Oh, wow. That smells so good. Oh, that is good. Talking about the wompy, did you show him those little wompies that you grew from seeds in the back? No, at the back. Wow, I'm going to go show you guys right now. I know this is off the track of the video I started to make, but it's part of being blonde. George is very methodical and he's very analytical and he like focuses, like when he focuses on one thing, where I go from one thing to another. So Scatterbrain is about to go into the back and show you the Wampies. As you're aware of, the Wampy tree is a tropical tree. And I can't remember the age on this tree, but it's eight. one of eight years. Okay, okay, here he is. He's he's hanging out at the papaya. I need you to give me the years because again, he's more analytical and he um, takes the time to remember all these things. This here tree is like brown sugar and it's so good. And Again, it's being from the snow, being from Chicago, the first 50 years of my life, I didn't even know what a wampy was until I met George. Wampy. Wampy. Um, from Guangzhou. And Guangzhou. Joe, if you're listening, Guangzhou fruit. And we love it. And um, I have been encouraging him to plant more seeds. And of course, I don't need to encourage him. He's going to do it. Don't forget the chocolate pudding fruit next to it. Now you're being scatterbrained. Okay, I'm going to try and stay focused and show you those those two little um, uh, seedlings that he planted in the back. Yippee! Yippee! Yahoo! Here they are, folks. Here they are. I'm excited. I was a little bit down when he told me that he was going to cut down the donut peach and he was going to cut down, well, he was going to cut down the um, queen peach. But as long as he's going to try and save them and possibly have them in pots and I'm going to get a lot of costs and green gauge, well, I get excited about things, especially the fruit that I love the most. Okay, da, 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 da. I don't know if he's ever showed you these. They're right in front of the Jamoon, I think. Is this the Jamoon? Let me look and see. Jamoon. Another one I didn't know about before I came here. Yes. No, that's the Jambalon. What? Yeah, that's the Jambalon plum. Jamoon. Hmm. Anyway, there they are. There are the Wampies that are coming up so that means some more brown sugar fruit for us here at Real Life Fruitopia. Okay that about does it for the day. Um, thank you for watching and uh, we hope that you will subscribe, like, and share this channel. This channel actually is also to encourage you to plant more fruit trees, eat more fruit, and as the channel says, have more fun. That's why we named it Real Life Funtopia. Have a great day, guys. See you later.